over researching certain questions. So you have the release questions, they're, they're answering these questions. It takes time to find answers. And when you find the answer, it feels good. You memorize it and then you go to the next question and then you find the answer. And then here's the thing, some questions, you'll just never find the answer. You, you just can't find their answer. It, it'll just take you a long, long time. And what's easier to do is just ignore the ones you can't find and focus on the ones you can find. If you do that, at least maybe if you're studying on your own, you might get up to 70 to 80 percent and you might have to drop 30 to 20 percent. And then once you review that 80 to 70, let's say 70 to 80 percent, you're reviewing that, you're getting good, you, you leave days that you review and you could, you know, schedule days where you research some of the 20 to 30 percent so that you keep converting some of that percentage to the you added on to the things you know, right? However, in the course, we kind of already done that for you. We've already gone up to 95%. Maybe there's 5% of questions that we tell you, look, these have been researched and you know you won't find the answer easily, so don't waste your time on it. We couldn't find, and we'll give you what the best answer we think is um, from our research. Another mistake is trying to gather as much as information as you can. So you have a textbook that has what you need mainly plus the questions let's say in a course or maybe without a course maybe you're doing the dental Dex part two and questions so the mistake is any piece of information you hear or you see or you read you feel like you're obligated to include that in your material so what that does is all of a sudden you see that your material is growing and growing and growing now when you study it's different that's a different thing than reviewing right the key is to review because you study it once, you're gonna forget most of it. And then when you review it a second time, you're gonna remember more. And then the more you review something, the better you're gonna get at it. But if you keep increasing that content, you're just increasing your review time, which is just not that wise for the AFK exam. Um, that's another thing. So don't add so much, don't keep adding new content. Usually the content you have from a course is enough, it's sufficient enough, um, it's just that don't underestimate how much you forget. And maybe I could add not reviewing enough because again, you study something once, you think that that's good, okay, you just need to add, you need new something new. I would say no, just keep reviewing that same thing. Um, another thing is trying to combine knowledge with all these other, between other courses as well. Like try to, if you take a course, just focus on what that course is teaching you. It's a lot more effective than trying to combine different things from different courses. You might find a course that has maybe um, different answers than another course. And then what you, how, how do you work with that? So it's just easier to stick with one course and, and just trust whatever course that is. Trust their knowledge, trust their content. 